Right guys, I am in the car now. Um, tonight, I'm not fishing tonight. Um, it's actually quite rare I'll do something like this, like, because I'm not one for um, uh, broadcasting about bait and stuff like that, because obviously I like to keep that to myself um, instead of being on YouTube. But tonight, um, I'm going for um, raise a fish tonight. Uh, me and my mate Jordan from um, Field and Sports is also on YouTube. Um, He's um, coming to help me tonight. He's going to hold my phone while I um, demonstrate how I collect razor fish. Um, I don't, um, I don't put salt or anything like that down for razor fish. Um, what I do is, if I can see a razor fish popping up, or if I can see, um, if I can see a razor fish um, uh, squirting out out the sand, what I'll do is I'll just get my gripe, my, my gripe with a dig lug and rag with. And I'll just dig. I'll just dig it out instead of um, farting about um, with salt and just waiting for it to pop out the ground. It's hell of a lot quicker, I think, to just dig them out. Um, because you'll you'll waste you'll waste lot. I think you waste lot of time personally just putting salt on on the holes and waiting for them to pop out. Because sometimes they don't even pop out when I've seen people do it before, and I'm like, well, that was a waste of time. You could have just dug it out. A couple of gripes, bam, in seconds, it's out. Um, so yeah. Um, the I mean, frosty conditions are probably what well, I've had more success on when I've been there for razor fish. Um, but tonight it's up thick, it's thick overcast, and there's drizzle. Uh, not drizzling right now, but it could drizzle. I mean, it's been drizzling, some, well, best part of the day. It could come back on like because the, the overcast is very, very thick. Um, and it, obviously, fresh water on the beach, it will not, it won't be good at all for the razor fish. Um, so hopefully we can get a couple and like obviously it's 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 demonstrated then how I actually do it if we can actually nail a couple um wait and see they'll be um they'll be out on the sand like actually on the ground like they've probably flew out of the butters not my luck but hopefully I can um I can get a one where it's like actually in the in the ground and um I, I can like dig it out for you and show you how to do it um, like I said, Jordan's going to be holding my phone for me, and um, <clears throat> he's bringing his um, his hunting lamp, where he uses for rabbiting. He's bringing that, so we're going to have a good light on the beach as well. <clears throat> and also, as well, um, I, I'm going to check some ground uh, on the sand for place in the um, in the springtime, March, April time, and uh, see where all what banks have built up during the storms, and see what banks have been destroyed because the ground changes all the time. Uh, so yeah, um, I mean the banks that f that all maybe fine tonight, they could be destroyed again within a few weeks' time because obviously we're only in well we're approaching the end of January now, and obviously February sometimes produces some massive winds, so um, it could destroy what I find tonight. So I maybe have to do it again because we've got some massive tides at the end of February as well. So I might have to do it again and check ground out. Might be better off doing it at the end of February because obviously. Um, the place are literally a couple of weeks away from that, so you'll know what you're dealing with then, with, with what the grounds and things like that are, the features. So we'll um we'll wait and see how we get on. So I'm gonna um pop you down. I'm gonna drive to where I'm going and meet Jordan because he's, he's just messaged us now. He's on route, and uh, hopefully we can bang a few um razor fish out for you. But of oh, before I go as well. Um, obviously with little lass and that, I won't be able to dig as much ragworm and whites and lug as well I, as what I used to in the past because normally um, I'd stock up like crazy on rag and whites and things like that for place and um, obviously little lass priority now so I won't be able to dig as much so what I'll do is when I actually do go for ragworm where I do where I actually go I won't say where <laughs> um, uh, I'll just have a massive session on them, dig what I can for to la last me maybe a few weeks and just leave the time instead of doing it like session by session, you know. Just uh, this time when I do it now, I'll just I'll just try and get as many as I can in that one session and hopefully that'll do me for when I go. Um, so yeah, and um, but like razor, if I can't, like I was gonna say, razor fish, um, lug tipped off with razor fish in March is deadly for place. I've had great success on that. So if I actually can't get any ragworm 
and if I, I have no success in terms of buying it as well because I like digging my own ragworm because it's a hell of a lot better quality than farmed and shop bought stuff like the stuff that I get like so um, uh, if I can't get any either, either you know I'll just stick with them um, lug tipped off with razor because I've had great success with that so hopefully if I find any razors tonight they'll do the job for me for um for the springtime march time's best time for um for the razor fish for, for place taking razor fish because obviously the place are starving and they'll take they'll take they take fins like that in that time that, that in that month because they're starving like i say after spawning so yeah um so hopefully um we can knock a couple out 45 plus again normally get one 47 48 um every uh, centimetres that is. I've had a couple, I've had I've had a 51 and a 52 before. They're my two, two biggest that I've had, but I've had every year I seem to get 47, 48, 46. I always get a nice one like every year. Fishing in 20 foot of water as well off the piers with um, with a 10 to 35 gram rod, fantastic beats. Beats fishing off the beach for them with a massive lamppost rod. And people still fish off with lamppost rods off the pier for them. It's ridiculous. Um, like I said, little light, 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 light spinning rod. Fantastic. Can't beat it, like. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to uh, get going now anyways. Meet Jordan and hopefully we can catch a few rays of fish. So I'll catch you soon. Right, when you say one, don't like rush off a twig because it will run in, it will like dive back into the ground, literally out like that. I mean, it's only a while and that like, but it'll still do. Good bait, just bait. There you go, there's three and a sinker. <laughs> there's a mark that hasn't, a razor fish hasn't, uh, hasn't quite come up. There, there's the razor. Easy as that, who needs salt? There we go. There's number one. A bit more effort that one. Uh, quite possibly. Now nah, maybe just there. Uh, an urchin. No, no, it's it. No, I don't. You were right. You shot there. See it trying to pull away. Yeah. There we go. There's another one. <laughs> Shall we need it? A spotter. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit more productive, I guess. Isn't it coming up to box? It's a long way. That's like a yeah. circle, isn't it, Jan? Uh, no, that's an urchin, that oh, is, Jan. Yeah. Yeah. I like it's like a, it's a funny shape, isn't it? Like a lot of box, yeah. Give it a go. Oh, good beginning. Who's going to win, Robson or Razor? Robson won. <laughs> there we go. This is actually like decent for like, you know, kids to get in there. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, you can look there everywhere. Yeah, there's John there. There's John there. Yeah, there we go, that's a better one. It's an old an old razor that like. Mm -hmm. There's it it's still alive as well. <laughs> it's tongue. Yeah, it's tongue like. I think the one might be one next door as well, possibly. Oh no. I think actually that was one of them. A little urchin. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a couple of <clears throat> Got another one. <laughs> Is that one there still in the hole? Oh, yeah, there's two. Christ. <laughs> Good spot in Johnny. There you go. Two in one hole. <laughs> there we go. There's another one. There's another one. Yeah, there's another one. 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 There's Jam. I don't know. I'd like a little dent in the ground there. Yeah, yeah, cookie on, mate. Oh, 
Oh, it's a big one. A massive yan. <laughs> a massive merchant. <laughs> the family really is eating, aren't they? Yeah, I can imagine the deal. Yeah, there's your next one. There's your next one. I think it's gone. Possibly. I felt some crunch mine, so could be in the walls maybe. Start on this way. Oh there it is. There it is. I just I felt that was a bit deep, wasn't it? Yeah yeah. A bit more effort that one again. <coughs> Still nice size though. Right then, that's smart. I reckon there might be some poking out, do you know when we turn around? Yeah. Fall back. <laughs> That's the actual bait guys that you're fishing for, uh, fishing for, digging for. Still do. <coughs> There's yam there, is there? Yeah, that one's already um, beached itself. <laughs> a bit of beer. Yam there. Yeah, yeah, that is. There we go. Another one. Spotted one. There's another one. There we go. <laughs> There's another. There's oh, another. Some of it's made for Ah, right. There you go. <coughs> got some competition now. Uh, is that one? Yeah. <laughs> See that? That would have been classic. You could have got that on camera. Yeah, proper square. Like a lot of okay, no? <laughs> there you go. That's a good razor. Uh, Felt that again. Yeah, yeah Robson. Oh, there's a shot there. <laughs> No, no, I'll probably get some of crunch then. Might you? Oh no, see ya. Get out. Until it's squirted. Yeah. <laughs> sorted. Got some uh, competition. That 
want to go back up there, Robson. Yeah. I think you're going to find plenty anyhow, but they've just started revealing themselves, haven't they? Is that maybe you? No, 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 Number one, see that they're all jams, I mean, you know how black the shells are. No, aren't you? Yeah, Bigger? Right guys, I've just got back home now from uh, razor fishing with um, Jordan and Jointy. As you can see, my bucket's a 15 litre bucket. And it's pretty much, um, it's nearly, I'd say more than three quarters of the way full like. And um, we managed to get 131 razor fish between the three of us. So that's um, an absolute fantastic result. I think that's the best I've ever done on razor fish. So yeah, um, the bucket's a bloody ton weight. Um, as I said, there's some uh, some cracking razors and amongst it, like some nice um, 
nice bits. I mean, if there's any more cod sessions this season, or well, this winter season, I'll be I'll be taking a few of these out with me for sure, hundred percent. So yeah, chuff the bits. Um, they'll definitely come in handy in the springtime for the place as well. If um, like I say, if I'm struggling on the uh, ragworm and things like that, they'll be they'll be um good to tip off with the uh, with lugworm. So. So we've got plenty of razor, won't need to go for any more now for the rest of the year. That's me set now, so they're fantastic. Um, like I said, this will be the only bait video I'll be doing. I won't be doing any other bait videos in terms of digging lugworm and rag and that, because I don't want anyone to know where I dig them, so... Uh, I mean, so that's so that's that. So guys, I hope you um, enjoyed the video. I mean, I don't even know what Jordan... Because Jordan was holding my camera, so I don't even know what he's recorded. So um, I hope you in, uh, enjoyed the video. Um, it'll be on hopefully next week. Got another video to upload from the other night from fishing low water for cod. So yeah. Um, so guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it. So I'll catch you later. Um, please like and subscribe. And uh, tight lines. Uh, see you later.